2020 was a blur. Uncertainty took over our world. In a time when AAPI representation was more critical than ever, we preserved and beamed the 2020 Asian Film Festival virtually to those across all states hungry for some hope. Staff members of Pacific Arts Movement managed to survive equipped with the appropriate gear. But they didn't just survive, they found a way to thrive. Hello film lovers and welcome to the 2021 San Diego Asian Film Festival kickoff at Chew the Scene. You may recognize me by now, especially if you saw those flashbacks. I'm Cesare, your host, and I'm here with my trusty co-host, Dr. Brian Hu, Artistic Director of Pack Up. Wait a second, you're not Brian. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Brian 2.0. How did you get here, Brian 2.0? Brian, is that you? Ah, Cesare! I see you've met my hologram. Ah, so that's what's happening here. That's pretty nifty technology. But, Brian, why can't you be here? I mean, I could be there, but is it safe yet? I figured I'd send Brian 2.0 to take my meetings. Well, Brian, didn't you hear the intro? We didn't just survive, we... Thrive. Exactly, Brian. I mean, do you have a name? Because I don't want to just keep calling you Brian 2.0. It's Henrik. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too, Henrik. So, as he was saying, we didn't just survive, we thrive. So you can come on over if you like. All right, thrived and vaccinated. I'm heading over. So Henrik, how are you enjoying Chew the Scene? Oh, it's, it's been great. Well, what could be better than local chefs coming together to celebrate Sadaf? I plan to visit every table at least twice. Plus, Common Theory is such a cool spot. I'm really looking forward to what they cook up this year. I'm so glad to hear that. Hey, we should definitely tour the party together and try to get everything and share it on our Instagram. Absolutely. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. Sweet. Everyone, tune into Pack Arts Movement on Instagram after this because Henrik and I are going to tour the fest and post live about all the delicious creations of Chew the Scene. Hey! Hope I didn't miss any food. You're just in time. Now this is weird. Hey everyone, thanks for letting me join the party. Well, of course, Brian. It wouldn't be a Sadaf kickoff without you. So, since you're here, how about we give our audience a little preview about what's in store? Sure thing. Well, it's been kind of uncanny stepping back into the world. And a little odd putting on an in-person film festival after two years. The world looks familiar, but also strange. It's like we've crawled out of our bunkers into the post-apocalypse. But instead of chaos, we see possibility. The colors look on you. Being among strangers in a movie theater is like entering another dimension. That sense of discovering exciting, otherworldly versions of ourselves is precisely the theme of this year's festival. Wow, a festival to reimagine our world. Something tells me that the world would look something like this. That was really cool. I mean, that's right. It's a vibrant, unpredictable, and enchanting world. A lot like the feeling we got reacquainting ourselves with Asian cinema this year. It absolutely is vibrant, unpredictable, and enchanting. So, Brian, I heard that even though it's our first fest back in person after two years, and we've had to downscale just a bit, we've still got a loaded fest. I mean, a over 130 films from 20 countries and 30 languages is still one heck of a festival. Can we expect anything new this year? I mean, after two years being away from the theater, it's all gonna seem a little bit new again. But it's also gonna feel comforting knowing that the usual highlights are still there. We're opening the festival with Seven Days, a rom-com with a clever pandemic twist. And we're closing the festival with Drive My Car by one of my favorite directors, Ryosuke Hamaguchi, and adapted from one of the world's favorite authors, Haruki Murakami. Our Asia pop films showcase some of Asia's biggest hits, the master section proves that the biggest names in film have remained busy. And the Asian American panorama section has family comedies, superhero movies, even robotic doppelgangers. Something Henrik knows a thing or two about. Well, what a lineup. I can't wait to see Artificial Immortality. 
<laughs> you would, Henrik. I'm especially excited for the adaptation of the Murakami story. And the fact that we get to go to an actual theater is amazing. It is. The past year has reminded us that we can't take the theatrical experience for granted. And more importantly, we can't take our film-going community for granted either. We can't wait to see you all again, even if we're all wearing masks. But make sure to smile under your mask. I know I do. So, where will most of our films be shown this year? Our home base is the Ultra Star Cinema in Mission Valley. That's also where, where we're going to be having our Q&As and outdoor film receptions. Q&As? Do we have any that we can look forward to? I mean, we have lots. And all I'll say at this point is that filmmakers, too, can't wait to attend the festival. I mean, after sitting at home with their films this past year, they've been itching to meet an in-person audience. I bet they'll have so much to say. That's one of the best parts of the fest. I love conversing with humans as well. <laughs> Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in to our kickoff show. Now, go grab some delicious bites from local chefs, watch some trailers, and don't forget to get your all-fest passes at sadaf.org if you haven't already. Thanks, everyone. See you all on Instagram. <laughs>